What is going on, everybody? It looks like we're finally ready to get started. Terribly sorry for the delays, but unfortunately, well and truly out of our hands. When problems at Volvo occur, we can do nothing but sit in the passenger seat. At least Volvos are safe. They are known for that. Casper, how are you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling a bit uh, ill, actually, after London, but other than that, everything is great. That, uh, that's concerning. I hope you do feel better <laughs> soon. Yeah, hopefully. Well, we I mean, the last in... night was rough, right? Well, last night was a little bit rough. There's no question about that. I heard you had trouble getting to your flight. I swear I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> no, you had nothing to do with that at all. No, it's not me. No, not not claiming it. But yeah, <laughs> the, no, we, we'll just debate. Take, yeah, exactly. We'll take a quick look at the bracket, as we can see from yesterday, already moving forward in the uh, the upper group. Alien Tech Black was dropped down as Gamers 2 had the victory. And now today, we do get the second part of this bracket finally underway. Encore from Finland, formerly the 3D Max roster, now running Nasu, formerly Team Minis. And uh, without their famous player, Natu, now the NIP coach in existence, the Spanish roster, who actually had a decent season way back last June with uh, ESEA, made it into the invite land, believe it or not. And are still around under for you guys. Yeah, I mean, they're known for being a very strong tactical team with a lot of uh, set executes. I mean, and these five guys mixed in with the, some other ones has been together for a very long time, so they know each other. I'm, I'm nearly can, I'm nearly gonna say in and out, but <laughs> I don't know if that's uh, appropriate. But they're decent guys. They are very strong individually, as well, and then they have these insane set goes with like four smokes and three molotovs, and it's just crazy. So just quickly, I'll bring up. The Vulcan, look, this is the team we picked up yesterday. Michu was our shot caller. He picked up us the most amount of points. That was a good call by us. Maus, Manis, and today we have these three players playing Disturbed, Mason, and Xart. We'll see if they can get things going. But we are going to go live, so right into game. And we'll get things underway. Already off a of spawn. It looks like some attack toward Banana right now as Xart wants to try and get up and in close to the action. As a lot of decoys have gone out on the top of middle. That forces... Oh, but look, Mason... Back. Look at Mason, this information gathered by him, but he might even be tricking himself if he doesn't spot them. He's going to call that it's going to be a B push mode. Yeah, we did see that actually end sub disturbed and stunned to get him behind him. So now Xart's going to come up from mid. This gives him a great chance to try and move forward. 
If he can get into position with his teammates who are already ready to flood out Boiler, there's a great chance for them to push onto the site. And so much pressure on Ma Musambani right now. Mason's already found Krom, but Musambani's lost inside. The smoke finally finds his way into Boiler as the entry will come in. Bombs looking to go down on the back side of the site. Stonda pops a forward. And suck it, Ron will get dropped as Stonda wants to push forward and now find on to Musambani, who's pushed all the way down. He does at least pick up one on XR, but there's your closing kill onto him. So now Kyrie on the rotation. Has to be the first to get there, and he can't get anything. End subs already put him down. And that's a great start for him as Stonda still inside the bedroom is going to spot up, flipping, running about, and trying to get back toward the site, but there's nothing they're going to be able to do. They do get the first kill. Brings it back to a two on two, but look inside the site. We still have Disturbed just waiting for this defuse to come in. He'll pop out, get them off the bomb, and now there's no time. They're happy time. Is there time? It's on the kit. No, there's not. Okay. So End subs going to get it. And that's going to bring us to one nothing Encore. Interesting pistol round, though. Like you said, all the way down from Mason. And he missed out because he actually went past them when they came up alt mid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, he nearly tricked his teammates. I mean, they obviously had a lot of emphasis towards the middle area because they thought that the apps was clear. But they just ran around each other like... Uh, I mean, it was not re really like expected that 3 Max would get into that position, but it just worked out in the end. And they're doing like this very, very games kind of eco with four smokes, and they're gonna like keep re-smoking banana. You see, the arch guy is gonna throw the first smoke into B now. That means that the B guys will still have two smokes, while there's only been like one, one fifteen left. So they can nearly cover the entire round with smokes now. Interesting that we are seeing all SMGs, no rifles. X start with the pipi bizon. <laughs> He'll try and come around. Good little stack up underneath on the Yonic side, though, on truck. And actually, this rotation, as we can see, there's only one over toward, or probably there's two over toward B. I thought the minimap was glitched for a second, because Ron looked like he was stacked up with Mason, and there was two on that spot, but there's not. So, it is standard formation. Mason going to get caught, so now Ron has to pop out and try and get at least one shot when they cross over. So far, he's playing passively. He'll wait inside the site. Lots of smoke's going to go out. That covers off library, but he still hasn't spotted anyone yet. And likewise, hasn't been spotted in return. Decent damage done on Ensa, but that's all he's going to get. So now Musambani has to come around from front library. And again, that smoke that we saw get deployed means he's got no vision. And in fact, yeah, they're not even going to give up. Uh-oh, what am I doing? They're not even going to give up any information. I mean, so good round is just like closing round music. Somehow that got restarted. I must have hit the hotkey. My mistake. Shit happens. That's one way. To Anyways, play. like the thing is, uh, so good round is like pretty much completely useless in that A bomb side. Having a USP only, he's obviously saving for the AWP. So I kind of feel like existence should have done something because because two guys got an A with pistols with like decent pistols and one guy was like useless and two guys covering B. No matter what side uh, Anko would gonna go for, they would have like a huge advantage because only two guys on each side would be able to do anything. So I kind of feel like Existence should either have gone, gone for some more map control or to try and be lucky with a stack in that situation. By the way, everyone in chat is saying N sub equals Nasu. That is correct. I also think it's hilarious that Natu left and Nasu joined. It's literally one letter the difference for the two, uh, two players that they subbed out. Or rather, swap positions. Lurpus's brother as well. Yips, and he's been like very strong in some of the games with the AWP. He's like fast as yeah, as lightning. I don't know if he's like insane. I was like, hoping you were gonna go with lightning because I was totally gonna say it if you didn't. <laughs> totally gonna say it if you didn't. As they do try and get a little bit aggressive. As Korn's gonna try and get inside the B site, this SMG comes around, does spot up the first decent damage onto Kyrie. Meanwhile, Moose and Bonnie dropping down on the A site, so they are looking for this entry in on both sides. Disturb will take down Mason. Second shot from him, that's gonna catch out Sucket Ron, and now here comes the secondary entry onto B. The bomb's still down at the bottom of the middle, so they'll have to go back for it at some point as Disturb does get down Kyrie, but Flippin found Kron just before that, so that slows down your B player by just a little bit. <laughs> as now XR will be spamming away with that PPP Zon, does pick up the kill. And he gets dropped, so Musimbani at least gets one more for insult to injury toward the end of it. But there you go, bomb's gonna go down, and the question is, I think they're gonna be buying, or well, they should be buying, and will be buying in the next round regardless. So does he push forward with this SMG or try to hold on to it? 15 HP, he'll just keep it to his own. Yeah, Perhaps he's just gonna... Exits. Exactly, just look for an easy exit. I mean, he can save the uh, body Kevlar and the nade, possibly. But, I mean, he's not gonna be too sad going down either, so he's just gonna look to try and be lucky, and he could actually catch N7 in the back here. 
Oh, but he took the shot with the... Okay, I guess it's still 600, but he could have gone for the 1500 knife there. I don't think Ensep was going to look at all. Yeah, actually, he should have done that. I was like... I didn't even consider it. I was just like, okay, 600 bucks for an SMG kill. It's pretty decent. He should have went for the knife. Yeah, because he was sitting only as we see now. Oh, we'll see it post-round. He's down to 500 based on that early buy. And he actually could have been sitting a heck of a lot higher. What did he grab? Uh, okay, so Moose and Bonnie got the SMG thrown over to him. They'll go for the M4, so they will go for the full upgrade. And now we get into the gun round. 3 nothing already on court. Looking strong so far, but we know this map can be so CT oriented once the guns do come out. Exactly. And you just see a lot of heavy emphasis in the banana. They're trying to force out a smoke in the B-bomb side, which is going to happen instantly. So it's a pretty decent job, I mean, without losing any damage, just forcing out the smoke is very important on this map as a terrorist. Very passive arch side setup. Gives up a lot of position if they smoke off onto Kyrie. It looks like they are going to group in that position. So we'll see how Kyrie responds. He does have the op out, but he's already spotted. Stonda takes him down. Now they'll wrap on the corner. No smoke out just yet. Stonda wants more, but no movement either. Mason's going to hold station. Okay, finally gets outside a graveyard. And he'll try and come over and spot up through this smoke. Flash goes his way, but he knows that smoke's there. So unless they push and man up, he's got no fear. He'll re-smoke it as well. This does delay them a little bit further, but the pressure's still on. Sick at Rondis has to come all the way back around the backside. And they're being passive. I thought that push was going to come a lot sooner. Moose and Bonnie's had a lot of time to rotate over from the B site. And in fact, just now they'll group up on truck side. Disturb does take sound stuck at Ron. And on the back side, oh, that's oh. a misplay. Massive misplay. Mason ends up getting one before that. But Moose and Bonnie caught off guard. Mason with the triple still inside the site. Finally, Nasu will put him out. And that's going to make it down to a man advantage here for Encore yet again. As Flippin is the one to come around. Can't do anything with the Famas. And... That round, man, it looked like it early on, Encore had it fully in control. It slowed down massively later on. Yeah, it really did. And and, and basically, the first guy dying in, in Arch there, I know that position so much as an AWP player. What basically happened was he had to do the, the smoke for B, so that they, they would have an extra smoke in that round. But as we saw in the early round, the B guys always used the first smoke. So instead of that guy using the first smoke on B, he had to do the second one. And then when he went for the repeat, the terrorist already walked up, uh, walked up middle, so basically a very unlucky timing, and you bet he's going to be so mad on, on that one because I don't. It, in, in, to a certain extent, it's a rookie mistake, you know, going to repeak without having any information if they could be up. But nine out of ten times, the terrorists don't push without a flash or something. So just unlucky play. So lots of shots being thrown out on top of banana right now. Ron trying to find some information. Can't. He'll have to fall back. But we do have a three-man rotation out with these pistols early on from the CTs. Nasu, meanwhile, does get one on the beast, or probably the A side. Response comes out. Stonda gets the off shot into Moose and Bonnie, and Nasu tries to push forward. Disturbed will catch out. Suck it, Ron. So that brings us back to only Kyrie and Flippin remaining. Kyrie tries to fire away with that. Deagle does get one. Make it two. He actually got XR just before that over the shoulder with a headshot. So great play from him. That does at least give them guns to pick up. So two AKs recovered. The question is, it's still three on two. It's... A decent position to be in. Low HP for Nasu and Disturbed, but I don't know if they want to invest because they need to find a way back into this. Yeah. What what, what talks for going for this one is that they're going to have a buy no matter what next round. But then again, in case they lose it or drop a lot of weapons, they're going to build up their bank already now. So, I mean, the, the decision they made in this one was one guy is saving and another guy is peeking. And that's the only thing which cannot happen. I mean, either you go for it together, I have some plan, or both of you save. Not like like this one. Kairi goes for kills and the other guy stays passively in B. That doesn't make any sense. So bomb will detonate. I kind of agree that was a very questionable play. But they'll save the 1AK, they will have guns and money to buy in this round. Keep in mind, if they save that, that's a whole investment from Kyrie. He's down to zero. He bought an op as well. He could have thrown that AK to somebody else. Oh, I, I just, I question that. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna make up for it by some sick place now. It seems like he's gonna go very aggressive in apartments. XR wants to get aggressive on Banana. Damage already coming down toward him in the form of that grenade that we saw. Flash and smokes, a slight gap on that smoke too. That gives a bit of an advantage as Sook and Ron does get down middle. And they're actually going to shut down Ensub as well. 
has to do that early damage. We saw so Disturbed now tries to come up inside the apartments and respawn. Hasn't found the angle he's looking for just yet. Oh, ho, ho. talk about a little bit of luck. Kyrie just missed that shot when he crossed over because he was late to peek it. And he was walking. That was an easy target if he'd been there just even a second sooner. So falling away from it. They'll get a little more passive as a result. As we do see this boost coming out for Stond, uh, trying to spot up the backside of Emo. Nobody there just yet. And they'll fall off of Banana as a result, so... Interesting that they're going to rotate all the way back over. Exart's the first one up. Disturbed wants to go. He wants around the corner. Already spotting it. He spots up the second player on Balcony. So far, hasn't been a response come out. So Kyrie not getting that off into anybody just yet. When they're making a fake here. Of sending Disturbed uh, around. Alone at least. And it's going to be two guys still holding B. So it should be a great defense for the TG. Rotating. And that means that Philippin is going to be alone. Well, he did get back just in time. Flipping goes for this bounce flash. Does catch out one. That's fully blinded, but there's the counter. He can't do anything, and they're in behind the wall, so it's not an easy shot. He's got a hold station. So far, he's been lucky. No Molotov has come into him. Spams away in the first. Doesn't hold enough bullets in the magazine. And there's the backside. Disturbed wraps all the way around. Moose and Bonnie gets caught. And despite that there's three up, this retake is going to be extremely hard. As Disturbed already spots one. Three peaks. Nice shot. Mason down. Tries to get the second. Oh. Does get Kyrie. That one, I think, wasn't even... Intended for him as Suck It Ron manages to dodge it. That goes over his shoulder, and now it's down to a one on two. Still reasonable time, does have the kit, but Stonda's not going to let him go any further. That second, or actually third kill in the round by Disturbed, but that second kill onto construction, getting the guy trying to go and get an entrance into the construction, not even the guy who was peeking it. I mean, that was a bit lucky, but n n nonetheless, it was insanely sick by Disturbed. And he's actually one of the guys who doesn't get a lot of credit, but he's really good, especially on LAN. I had the, the trouble of facing this guy numerous of different times, and he's just really strong. Yeah, and this is difficult. They need to peek him, otherwise he won't stand any chance at all. And most likely, they're not going to do that being down 0 to 6, you know? Like, leading 11 to 1 or something, it, it would be a different story, but... Win. Uh, and I think you're going to agree with me, and the play from Uncle was actually pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, the, the play from Anko was actually pretty cool. Since they're up uh, 6 to 0, they can do like ballsy plays and take chances. And that's what they did with this early mid rush, and they completely caught the middle guy off guard. But they didn't seem to have a plan after getting the entrance, so that's kind of where I'd fill up hard again. Apparently, I need to uh, reset my binds because I think I accidentally muted mid round last time. It's alright, we're getting through this. Second Ron's gonna hold off. I actually do agree with you, by the way. I said I wouldn't, but I did. <laughs> I'm a liar. Once in a lifetime experience for me. Uh, suck it, Ron falls back around. To support the site. His rotations have been strong. They've gone for him on the op as well as Kyrie. And the interesting thing is... Kyrie's gone back over to B based on spawn positioning. So they've completely changed up who's at either site. But here comes your take. In on top of A. They've already got... Mason force back. Second round's gonna get aggressive. I thought they'd try and bait off of each other with that flashbang to try and get him an early peek, but instead he gets inside the archway. Flash does come around the corner from his teammate. Manages to hit one. Almost looked like they could have lined up for him. There's two. Will they continue on? It's gonna be an absolute slaughter. A third from him, but he can't do anymore. Finally, end sub gets the shot and answers back, but Moose and Bonnie is right there in the trade for the end, so Existence pick up their second round. That's very... Very good AWP play from, from him in that situation, but though you have to criticize the... The structure of Anko uh, trying to run into that archway because you need to be closer to each other. You need to be able to revenge frag an AWP playing that aggressive in an off angle where he can't get away. And simply they, they gave him the time to take all the easy shots. So Xart flashes over, gives Nasu a chance to come around the corner and try and find his way in. Pardon me, that's not Nasu at the front. Who is it? It's Disturbed who's already in, but he's already shut down. Flippin's found the first kill. Moose and Bonnie burns away the others with the fire. Now Kyrie's gonna rotate next arc. So they are back on pistols. Has to fire away with this Glock over the top. Nice name. Lands right on his foot. Still manages to dink up Flippin. And somehow they don't respond. You'd think they would have sooner. They finally do.
Moose and Bonnie and Mason. The M&Ms eat the red one last, and they'll eat the last terrorist alive. It's going to be 6-3. to three. <laughs> Small comeback coming in. And where, where do you think both teams are going to be having an acceptable half? Do you think Anko is looking to get like 10 rounds, or where do you think they would be satisfied? I, I mean, 6 already for Encore is decent. I think they're going to want to push for 8 at this point. It's still super early in the round. The problem is the economy is starting to rebuild now for the T side, so they have a chance to really fight their way back into it. Yeah, exactly. But then again, leading 6-0, to zero, like you say, I mean, 8, eight rounds should be... Good, but you you would kind of want to go for nine or ten if you have six zero. But eight half or eight rounds in the T half is just insanely good as well. So no matter what, they're already kind of satisfied. They have a good chance of making, I mean, a great CT side with the players that they have. So I guess they feel kind of confident already. Xard so low and he pushes them himself up in his sandbag. Kind of peculiar because this smoke is going to dissolve any second. Is it going to be resmoked? It looks like. Okay, he's actually going to smoke himself out, but there's the resmoke. We just heard that come in. Meanwhile, it's all going on at A. Kyrie's already lined up one, make it two now, and they're going to have to fall back. Away from the site they go, still trying to find a shot as Mason out hot on their heels as well. So this flank could work out perfectly for them. As Xart now is trying to find the way in. Secondary smoke from him comes out. That'll cover off spools, and around the corner goes. Karm, but the question is, can he get anything? He has to come through with his back to it, and Mason's already lined up too. That's your flank, and he's going to come in. There it is! Completely behind and no answer at all. Wrecked. Just wrecked, mate. Great flank. Ballsy to do in a 5 on 3, but then again, they're probably not going to lose the die of him missing the flank, and the flank was just perfectly timed and caught the terrorist off. <laughs> So much that it was insane. I don't understand the last guy not turning around though, but I guess he was just in a very awful position. Yeah, I'm not sure if he thought he was going to be pushed from either side. A little bit more aggressive this time from Flippin on Banana. It does give himself a little bit more position and vision to peek out. No smokes on it, but look at this. They're setting up the crossfire top middle. It's again pistols for the T side. Around the corner they go yet again. Gotta get around. Disturb has this tech nine. Wants to get the shot toward Pit. Looks like Ron's gonna slow him down. Now Karn's gonna be the one that pops back out, tries to re-peek it, but the fire's there, so he can't go much further. He just wants that Tech-9. That's all he wants. That's all anyone wants for Christmas on the T side. Kyrie's on the back side here with the op. Misses the first shot. Does have a Tech-9 that he picked up from the last round, so he swaps it over quickly, and he'll go right to it. Second Ron continues to hold the back side. Moose and Bonnie collects the last, and we are one round the difference, and money is massive on the CT side now as we see... Not only did they reset the money bonus, they firmly picked up five of their own and shifted it back the other way. Yeah, exactly. And there's not any feeling which is coming close to having an AWP and then a Tech-9. You just you feel so safe. Missing an off shot, just pulling out the Tech-9. It's a great feeling, man. And we see the AWP aggressive play again. He should be able to get the oh, first. I hope that they're going to be into revenge. Step. Nasu made a step and they actually heard him, so they get the shot off in full advance to that side of the map. Now they completely close off three players as Mason's going to go out ahead and take down Karn as well, but they'll rotate over. They will pick up this bomb. Xart's going to be the first in. As Stonda's holding off on the backside, he wants to just get a shot through that smoke. Stonda's going to get caught off. Flip and find Sam, and now it's all left to Xart. Yeah. And They're look how push they are on his position. Yeah, there's no question they'll hunt him. They've already spotted him in that doorway. He pops out. Mason waits. Six to six. Great comeback already going on for existence. By the way, this was Encore's map pick. So we go to Mirage yeah. next. And if needed, it will be cash on the third map. And the, the topic for that last round was existence pulling off five rounds in a row. And they played fairly defensive in those rounds. And, and just being like very laid back, just waiting for everything. And what then happens is... That's a big question always. Do you change up your game or do you keep playing the way that you just got five rounds in a row? And this time they decided to change up the game going for the aggressive apps play. And it worked out perfectly. So you kind of destroyed the counter plane of, uh, of Anko. Good pick there from Karn to wait at the bench. As Kyrie overstepped the mark just a little bit trying to be slow down. The top of middle, in they go though. First one around the corner is already there. Disturb comes in his secondary. Nasu's gonna get the shot, and here comes your smoke, but he peeks out with the nade so close to getting caught. But somehow still falls away back inside the site. And that means Musim Bonnie's the only one close. As slow on the rotation is going to be flipping. He comes down the backside, so they are going to change up their angle just a little bit. But look at Moose and Bonnie's HP. 
22 for him as the bomb does finally get put in position and all five players still alive on the T side. There goes your first flipping caught as Moose and Bonnie wants to try and just look for an extra kill. Does get the first, gonna get caught by the second though. No, disturbed already peeking out, so they'll trade it. And Encore finally get one in response late in the half. And the unfortunate part is it resets the money bonus, but this late, it's only pretty much gonna be one round they're gonna have to save, and it'll be a force anyway, because it'll be round 15. Yeah, and and Encore is just looking strong. Even though it's uh, the map pick of Encore. I know that these existence guys is normally pretty strong in this map, uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't like say that they're out of this map yet because normally they have a very strong T side and they know how to break the economy of their opponent. So winning the pistol round and, and destroying the economy of Ankor a CT could be very um, very important for the guys, and I'm I'm sure they're gonna try to look out for that. Waiting for Sukit Ron to take this shot. So we already see Karn found that counter shot off to the opposing side when he peeked out from mid just in front of where Sukit Ron was, but they never get out and they actually do smoke it off, so they'll continue around the corner. Nasu wants to be the first one there, but Disturb's already peeking it. Looking for the shot to work pit. Fire comes out. This separates them. Disturb's in a very awkward position as one smoke is already out. Going to cover off on the player for Pity. Actually spots up the player crossing over. Sukit Ron, that's the man in position, but there's your secondary smoke and now this fully delays them. Question is, do they want to go back and join XR over toward B? Kyrie's on a quick rotate. Uh, interesting boost. They're actually going to go ahead and put up. I believe that's not Nasu. Yeah, they do. And Mason hears them and sees them doing it. So he'll catch them over the top. It was clever tactics, but it won't pay off. Second one goes in. Mason's got that. They still come around the corner. Bombs in position and already dropped down. Counter flash, or pardon me, smoke out. So Mason has to jump up himself this time. But over the top he goes. Another one. That's three. That's the hat trick. Can he get four? Look at him, he's like a monkey trying to get the angle. Doesn't realize they're down below and finally trips the shots in, but XR gets the kill. Kyrie's still holding the backside and angle, and second Ron's actually gonna be the one to get the shot, so that's gonna bring us back to 7-7. Seven, seven. And again, that money gonna be tight on the T side, but they will force it at the half. But again, they get the entry kill in the middle, and it seems like they just like the overall plan. I mean, they have too many ideas. They're searching too much for the second kill instead of just committing to something. They got completely disorganized throughout that uh, Molotov, and they could do anything. They could do a B push, five against two, maybe even five against one, if uh, if they bait out the rotation and stuff. And I don't know. I don't agree with the with the late round calls from uh, Uncle. Oh, he starts another step, another millimeter further on that shot. He had the headshot, but meanwhile they are lurking forward inside the apartments right now. Disturbed leads the charge with the Tech Nine. No smokes out, but they want to flood in. They're going to try and get in on the site. Mason's already found the first. Now it's Karn's turn to try and come back around. Mason does more. He's got the third. Bomb gets dropped immediately in front of him, and he'll come around the corner. Excellent play from him in the last two rounds as he gets yet another hat trick. And it's all left down to Stonda. He does get one on Kyrie. Now he's just got three more to deal with, and they actually were lined up right there, but second round will close out the half. It's going to be eight to seven. A great performance. As I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to have a short halftime break just to clear up some issues. Yeah, apparently we're going to have a five-minute little break. So, uh, that's a lie. Apparently that's, that's the case. Now. No, we are going to have a five-minute little break. Okay, no, you're right. We're lying. It is going to go live again <laughs> right now. Okay, well, I lied. Let's get right back into it. So 8-7, that does split it up. Existence were the one to get the better of it late. But look at this pressure right now. Stondo wants to get up inside the window. He actually going to fall all the way off it. So Karn's going to be the first one to get the position. There is a decoy nade out top middle, but that's all there is in that position right now. Waiting patiently. Karn just wants Mason to come around the corner. Spots and fires a little bit too soon. though. Just a shoulder peek to check off the angle. So now he has to readdress this and fall back a little bit further. And the T's are grouping. It's his teammate firing at him. Luke Sate, he hasn't even used his smoke yet, you know? He's just shoulder peeking so well and getting information without taking any damage. Stonda's forced off. 
of the arch side. He's going to head toward library. It's going to be him that's under threat. Spams away. Does manage to collect on two, but the dome comes right back into him. He's down to one HP. Tries to catch them on the backside. He's lucky that the player pushing forward is the low HP player. But meanwhile, this is really interesting. Second run's gone right underneath the first player that's in behind. It's Nasu up above on the atrium, and he manages to get two from that position. So, well played to catch them off. That's one way to outthink them. And look where the bomb gets dropped. It actually gets thrown up on top of that. So now there's a massive chance right now for Encore. As they do pick up the round. If I can show you, I can't. Okay, bomb was up. He bomb was up here. So uh, that's a pretty interesting place for a regrab. That definitely slowed them down massively. Yeah. Overall, decent idea with doing the B split in that day round. I mean, everything was sent to uh, Ness up there and the uh, on the roof of CT spawn, getting those two kills. I kind of, I'm kind of surprised I didn't see the flash. I don't know if you saw it, but he threw this uh, flash onto Speedway, which kind of gave away his position. But it seemed like the Finnish guys didn't really, or the uh, Spanian guys didn't really uh, realize. Nice pick by Kyrie again. Opens up the round. We see Karn already forcing himself back inside the pit, so the pistols have the man advantage. Look at this information being gathered right now. At the bottom of Banana, end sub rotating around. Musambani wants to go, need to be so careful. As Xart's pushed up into the corner. They head toward Banana. Oh, he gets out of it. He actually gets impatient. If they headed toward Banana, he was in a great spot. The problem is he's so far away. Does he have a smoke? He doesn't. So he can't even smoke himself back inside the site. And he's alone at B. This is a really early rotation. Bomb still is over toward Apartments. This will sell Xart a bit of a fake. And already the rotation coming around right now from Nasu. Good pop flash though from Xart. Now the entry has to come in. And Karn needs to be aware that they're coming. There it is. Flippin' finds his way down into the site. This slows everything. This changes it massively. To serve the only one in position to try and shut them off. He does get some damage out onto the site. Sick at Rondas down to 17, but the bomb is getting planted. And this is a bit of a win already for existence on this eco round. This second round in the second half. Disturbed finds one over the top. Gets a second one. That's sick at Rondas. And it's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Mason versus Disturbed. Pardon me, actually. I take that back. Natsub's still alive. 5 HP. I thought he was gone off the overlay, but he's still there and in the round. So just by hanging around, we'll see if he can find a way to help out his teammate. Mason, not going to have any of it. He actually gets them both. So excellent play from him with the Tech-9. And they're going to come right back into this with an eco victory. Yeah, the, the big mistake there was on Caron. The, the, the first rule you learn as a pit player on this map is that you must never rotate away from the pit unless you see the bomb on the radar on B, you know? So as soon as they call that they're rushing B, he still needs to wait for the confirmation on the radar. And he rotated it up, up from pit, he wanted to get back into pit, and at that timing, the terrorists decided to rush out of apartments, and he was in an open position without any, yeah, any backup or any ways to fall back, so. Oh, good nade. Stunned down to 29. On the backside, though, it looks like... Karan's gone all the way down, Karan's gone past them, but meanwhile it's all going on, Kyrie's come into the site, he's managed to pick up one with that Tech-9. But on the backside, down at the bottom of middle, Mason's gonna get one more, now it's up to flipping. That was Karan that they took down, that was your information gaining player, so it's all left to disturb, does pick up the first with the P250, already dropped down though, by Mason and... On the rotation. It's Nasu trying to desperately get back over only the USP, so there's no reason to save this. And he can't even hit the shot right now. Does do some <laughs> decent damage, but he's going to go down finally. Sikaron just puts him in. That fence, man, just ricochets yeah. the bullets everywhere. Apparently. <laughs> so money pretty tight on the CT side. They can't force yeah. right now. They actually could they, put out from Mosses, but yeah. they're not going to. I was kind of surprised they didn't. I mean, they could get a pretty decent buy, but then again, 10 to 8 a CT on this map, I mean, it's not like you're going to lose by doing one more eco. Massive push down middle, though. Nade's already out. Good damage dealt. There it is. XR goes forward, but he only is going to get the first, and now second run's going to come down on the backside. Picks up one. Can he get more? His teammates are dropping like flies, though. Disturb manages to take down Mason. Kron's already going to take down Sukit Rondis. And it's all left to flip in yet again. And we might see an eco go the other way this time. He will smoke it off. He knows they're deep inside mid. This will cover him and give him enough time to get the plants off. But Kron's actually guessed wrong. Based on a deep smoke on the bottom of Banana. And now they'll realize. Now they'll come around. So 
Disturbed, Karan, do they split? No, they're going to stick together. They want to force this into a trade situation where they can bait him out and try and get on the defuse together. This is smart in playing it in this way. As Flippin has to realize they have to come from one way or the other as he hasn't spotted one either way. This the, he, It should be a process of elimination for him. Yes, they are together, but he can't even get the first. So therefore, his recoil won't get to the second as he's a little bit late on the first one. And No kit. Does he have it? I don't think he does. I don't think he's got this at all. So I think this may actually it. I still think go to the T-side. Oh, this is so close! Got it! Oh my god, that's as close as you can possibly get. Big win from Disturbed. Good yeah, the play, big... too. So they actually saved. We talked about how they could have forced right there. Might have been interesting if they did, but get really aggressive on that mid-push. Mm -hmm. Five HE grenades uh, as well, I believe. And the thing is, if you think about it, what, ha what, what would have happened if he, the terrorist would have been hiding a bit more behind the uh, the dildo? We call it dildo at least in Denmark. The I dildo know, and that one and two. I heard that at Copenhagen Games that it's a <laughs> that way. You Danish What, what do you call it? Just Big Pit? Uh, I call it statue. Statue? Nah, dildo is more appropriate. <laughs> Alright, appropriate is a questionable term. <laughs> Anyways, if he would have been hidden a bit more, I mean, they would have been forced to... Yeah, they, they couldn't play the time without a kit, so... Uh oh. Nasu, man, this guy. Don't push him when he's got the AK out. Lines up too. Does fall back inside the site. Plays it off with the backside with Xart. He's also very low though, but he has the M4 up close, so it's his turn to get in. An aggressive tries to fire away, but look at the fire comes over the top. Xart hears it burning before it lands and falls off. Orange is too. This is good position from him as Nasu again manages to collect them. Great round by him. Massive round from him. Four kills in the round. The first two in Banana, and then the second on a fallback play and set up a crossfire. So really good B control, and now we're back knotted up on tens. Normally I hate like pointing out players in terms of breaks, but Kiron is um, is playing quite poorly considering his normal standards because he is actually a very insane player, having like insanely good spray control. And he's always able to get like those two or three kills when they rush him. Really interesting play coming out right now. As Flippin does find Disturb, but they're gonna go ahead and rush all the way down inside. Banana and Stonda gets in behind second Rondis. There's two there. They can go for this trade. In fact, they'll go further. They don't even need to trade. They'll get the bomb down. Flippin's aware of it though. Gets in the, into the underpass, excuse me. And does collect at least Stonda. But Xart's just got to secure this bomb. As Kyrie's in reasonable position, he's going to throw that gun down to his teammate. Interesting play to even throw it down where he's got a lot lower HP, but he doesn't want it to be in an ungrabbable position, and they had actually recovered it. So it's half a one, six dozen of the other, because he ended up losing that fight with the pistol. But now we see this M4 is going to be climbing up. That's Xart catching off one behind, but there it is. Good trade flipping on the right timing. Four HP to go oh. up against Nasu. Almost caught off on the first shot. Does get into dodge, gets out of the way, and into cover, but this nade could do it all. Is he gonna catch it? Bounces a little bit light. Uh oh, here it comes, I think. No. Nasu doesn't have to peek this. I don't know why he's going for this peek. He doesn't need to do this at all. The bomb's still down. That's all he has to check. Oh, a little deep. It's only a flash. It won't do the damage, but Flippin's still trying to hold this angle. And Nasu and he is knows. down to 78. I think he knows. He doesn't know that he's in the corner? He knows the bomb's up, but I don't know if he knows the exact positioning as Nasu's still looking down toward Banana. Now he does, but that flash catches him just enough to let him cross back over. So Nasu's going to completely change it. Time. 10 seconds. 10 seconds is all he's got. So he knows he has to go toward yeah, the site. He lost it already. He lost it already. Yeah, it's over. Yep. Good play by Nasu. If he knew he had 4 HP, he may actually try and get this gun. Oh, no, anyway. don't die oh, after the time. Oh, after the time. Jesus, man. Massive misplay from Flippin. Hola, Massive Nico. misplay. Hola, Miko calling uh, Spain. Uh, Spain. What's going on? Why would he do that? Now he only has the Tech 9 to go with it. Man, you yeah, have I don't know. 4 <laughs> HP and you go on the hunt? I don't understand that at all. That was really weird. I don't understand that at all. Op out for Stonda. He's not going to be the first one under threat. He might be, actually, as they look like they're going to rotate back off of Ultimate Disturb, trying to go for a pop flash out. But all the aggression right now is, there it is, Stonda finds the first in toward the top mid. There's your double flash out either way. This Molotov doesn't go deep enough. Karan's going to fall back and Disturb may try and pop out and fire through the smoke. But unfortunately, if the players were goalposts, the only goal he scored was through the open air. As Karan's going to fall back. Disturb does drop. Stonda finds one more. But the op's still lurking, still pushing forward as Xart comes down from bottom banana. And it's all left to Kyrie. Ooh, the pop flash, not deep enough, I think. 
No, not deep nope. In fact, he caught himself with it. <laughs> he went a step past it, so it didn't go deep enough at all. Helps out Encore, and they've responded because, again, we got knotted up to 10 rounds apiece, and now they've got the four-round spread working in their advantage, and the money bonus starts to surround, but it's not really in a good position right now for existence. No, no, definitely not, and they're going to be ecoing this round. Having Deagle check nines, but really, no grenades other than a flashbang, and no matter how good they are individually, it's going to be very hard. Aggressive CT push though, and Molotovs. The terrorists are so caught now. <laughs> and again, oh, Sabani, what? I don't think he realized he was in it. And then by the time he did, it went so deep. And I think they may have heard that because they threw the nade on top of it because you could definitely hear him being tagged up. Yeah, for sure. I think they know. And it's going to be a slaughter, to be honest. No way that the terrorist is going to get anything out of this. That wall above the logs is actually wallable, but. Logs will protect unless he gets above it. So Enseb's in a good position to take the first initial shots. He'll fall off, and then it's X-Start that's going to be the one to pop out. That's exactly what happens, and look at him line them up! Four for him, in fact. The first one assisted by his teammate, and these two together at B are good. There won't be an AC. will get taken down, but Nasu's still in good position, and Flippin makes a ton of noise. The question is, does he spam away too soon? He does not. Nasu keeps enough in the trigger, and that's going to squeeze us onto 13. Yeah. <laughs> And to be honest, I think it was even more silly to go through the uh, through the smoke. Basically, you have a very low chance with the pistols, and you have an even smaller chance if you don't decide to throw a flashbang, uh, try to nade them out, models have the sandbags, you know, try to counter them and make them out of positions. So that was just, you know, it, it wasn't even difficult for him to spray down those four guys. Stondo wants to get the shot, but look at the aggression again from Xart. He's down in the corner and Banana. This gives the rotation. This will allow Nasu to go over and help because if he dies early, even if he gets smoked off, it allows him to get back in position quickly. Stondo's still trying to find an angle with the AWP. Hasn't found one just yet. They have five Molotovs, so let's see what they're going to do with it. Molotov's having short and he's in a great position, this dev gonna get away safely. He's doing some small damage to Socket Runner, now they gained the mid control, now they need to gain control over Banana. It's still smoked deep though, that that allows the fourth guy of um, of Enco to play on the A-bomb side, but he's gonna have to fall back to B soon. Mason wants to try and get in. And actually I lied, Sartre still has a, a, fl a smoke on B. Yeah, and and just 30 just seconds, off it right now. yeah, and still a they're gonna play heavy A. From Nasu as well. So he'll fall off the arch, but it's got to go away. Yeah, it has to go away. I don't understand why he's rotating back to, to B. So Karn's yeah, in a good position. First shot on to flip it. Mason drops as well. Disturb will chime in, but Karn's still not done. He's still alive and well inside the pit. He'll get the last player. Bomb will get dropped, and now it's only two rounds to go. Encore looking quite good now that they've got guns out in their hands. Yeah, I expected a better execute from the... Uh from the Spanish guys, I know what they're capable of, so that was kind of poor execution and didn't really seem structured, not really pushing at the same time and specific flashbangs or anything. It was just kind of disorganized, it seemed easy for Corone to get those uh, two kills and apps and no revenge was coming in. Oh! Gets caught, Mason comes around the corner, stunned out of position, that's gonna put the arm into the ground, that won't give them much more to work with, and they're gonna try and repeat this. Meanwhile, Flippin wants to get out of the apartments right now, but aggression again toward Banana. It's Exart that gets up in the corner. They've yet to push through on him in the misposition, so there's no reason not for him to go there again. And in fact, Second Ron's gonna try and go over this. Secondary smoke's gonna come out, but he won't see that thrown, so they should be able to guess that he's there if they're completely aware. Unless they assume it came over the roof from A, but even then, the Second Ron should have spotted that. He should have been able to see that. Yeah. But it's just so hard, you know, it's such a small choke point. I mean, they're probably going to go for it now, we can see how it's going to pan out. Yeah, he switched sides, so they won't be able to guess that. Musambani knows, it seems. Oh no, he looked away in the right second on the wrong Problem second. is, it's the A1, so we only had the 20 bullets to work with, and unfortunately too many of them expired on the initial kill. Now it's up to Existence to try and get inside B. They've opened it up, no smoke though, yet at least deployed as Kyrie just puts it out now. Suck it, Ron's already taken a decent amount of damage. Does respond, well played through the smoke, but look at this, this divides them. This Molotov completely separates the offense, and with the bomb going down, this serve then can walk in. What? What's that second shot? How does he 180 that quickly? <laughs> The smoke was very be benefiting for the uh, CT though, it was um, 
everything else in deep into CT, so you could like use it for his advantage, sneaking out, getting the bomb planter, and then just turning around the like, like that was, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for the word sexy this time. I'm gonna go with the word vacation for deserved. <laughs> for disturbed. Yeah, someone in chat already said <laughs> for, flusha. For dessert, just I like that. Things. Disturbed serving dessert. That should be the new thing. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Cheesy. A little bit cheesy. Is it cheesy dessert? <laughs> well, Mason wants to try and come out, but look down below. It's disturbed. It's in position. Kyrie, meanwhile, will take Xart down. That's at B, so that's where the bomb actually is. But look at this. They're going to flood in on A. Now they've opened up both sides of the site. It's going to be Karan, though, that comes back over. He's going to shut everyone down. And interestingly enough, this is a split position. They've got it down to a two-on-one, and Flippin's going to call. So the bomb will come back over toward A as a result. Need to be so careful, though. Sonda's down toward the middle. Good play for Moose and Bonnie. Not to come directly at middle. He heads toward apartment. He takes the he, safest he, he route He might possible. do gaps. He might do gaps now. I think he has a feeling. Oh, this could be even better, maybe. I don't think they expect him to be from F's this early. Get uh -oh. the bomb down, Moose and Bonnie being slow uh -oh. about it. Sound is creeping up, he knows that smoke was just thrown. Fires a little bit too soon! No. Oh! Flippin' would have had no idea he was there. That would have been an easy kill on the bomb player, and he could have fallen off it. So, existence get away with one there. <laughs> that was so close. God damn it, you kind of wanted him to get that because the play was perfectly timed. Man, oh man, it would have been even better if he got him before he walked out the door, because even if he shot him with the momentum, the bomb would have got flung over the edge. That still would have put it into a close one-on-one. -on -one. If he could have secured the bomb before that, it was a real chance that he had the round as a result. I agree. There's still 7,000 on Undisturbed, so it's going to take a bit more to break the economy of the CTs, but it seems to be a mid-push through the smoke here. An incoming uh, puff flash, maybe, let's see. Mason is just ready for it. Good flash out from Mason around the corner. He heads, wants to flash further, gets it up over the corner. Meanwhile, teammates still trying to set up on truck side. They haven't found a way over. They haven't got in position, so Stonda's going to come back over. Meanwhile, Karan does take down second Rondis in the front side. But Stonda in decent position, just no one pushing forward. They've completely slowed off on the T side. Yeah, and again, it seems like the terror sides have a, have a hard time structuring a, a good mid-round uh, decision. And if it wasn't for that guy picking apps, I mean, there was no need for it. Again, the CG has the man advantage. They can just play it slow. And Exata, once again, is having the deep banana control. And I mean, it's so hard to play the terror side if you don't know how to counter the deep banana control from the CTs. Oh, this is a really aggressive beat. Kyrie's well and truly in the deep end. Comes around the corner, couldn't get the close angle on the first one. It's so tight through the front of the truck. And then second one in Graveyard, even harder shot, arguably. But they do manage to get two entries. It won't be enough. Encore, do you want more? They're going to put it to 16 to 11. So first map goes their way. We'll take a short little break. Katie, and I think you've got to bow out for the evening. Yeah. You do, Would you do. Would be preferred. It is uh, this... very late at night. Well, I'll see what I can do. I think Jordan Nothing Gilbert said he might be able to jump in. So I'll see if we can secure him down. But we will have a slight break between maps. And uh, just quickly, though, before we do, I should bring this up. And uh -oh. uh, hang on one second. There we go. We've got our Vulcan. Oh, you're you, you're free to go. I don't need you anymore. Kid. Okay, okay. You can leave. <laughs> I, just, th I just thought you were out. gonna troll me or something. <laughs> no, I you, I, I kind of did, but I didn't mean to. But I'm glad I did because you deserve it. <laughs> so don't forget, okay. we do have. I'm gonna pause that. That's probably slowing me down a little bit. We do have our uh, Vulcan league in effect right now. And again, yesterday I picked the team with Volti, who casted with me. We had a total of, as you can see, actually all points are already accumulated. So Disturbed in that game in one game alone picked up 51.3 force. Not bad at all for him. And in fact, Xart was our, our bottom fragger. But you can jump in. You get the salary. If you use the code COUNTERPIT, they'll match up to $1,000 for the league. And once the league gets started again with the groups, all the invited teams, it's going to be pretty hot and heavy. There's a decent amount of teams to choose from. So it will be interesting. You've got the budget to work with, the 10K, and you have to pick your team accordingly. I think we got good value yesterday out of Mihu, but uh, we'll see. Mason also had a decent game. 78 points for him today. So, so far, everyone's doing reasonable. It's interesting that I went for uh, for Mason, who was on the losing side but picked up 78. So that's a good investment on our part. But again, head over to Vulcan. All you got to do is log in, make your account. Uh, if you hit to the lobby 
and then uh, jump down once you get into the lobby. It's just taking a while to load up my computer because God rest my computer. Uh, you just scroll down, find the league that you want to join. You can join tons of leagues, but specifically if you join ours with that code, you will be able to uh, to join in and uh, pick your team. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll get map two underway. It will be Mirage as we are on short notice and on a delay. We'll, uh, we'll be right back as soon as possible.